Hi and welcome to the Martin Bell Show. In today's video we're going to be reading from the Daily Mail Online in the money section. And it's about GameStop, caveat emptor. The GameStop share saga is a musing table of our FOMO, which stands for fear of missing out times. But beware, the bubble under it, says Simon Lambert. I haven't done much research into this, but I was on my Discord forum the other day. As far as my understanding is, it's about um, the retail uh, investors, which is you and me, it's squeezing out by um, the um, inter institutional investors by a short squeeze. So they're trying to push the price up. So trying to make them sell out all their position or actually having to buy their shares outright, as far as I'm aware of. So let's read the article so we understand what's going on. So it says here, GameStop. Much of what you need to know about the astonishing GameStop share saga and the stock market stays play in early 21 is wrapped up in that one, one nonsense tweet from the world's properly richest man, Elon Musk. That word tweeted by Elon Musk on Tuesday night with a link to the Reddit thread Wall Street Bets. Further fueled a trade and frenzy that's been struggling the US computer game retailer become the world's hottest stock. I bet GameStop are happy that their share price has gone up. But it's gone up really, really, really quickly. GameStop is now battling the battleground between the small investors and Wall Street. A get rich quick scheme, a stick to the stick it to the man tail, which is true. And now the, the institutional investors are not happy with the retail investors they're trying to. I've even heard um, calls for regulations where retail investors are not capable of understanding complex things, which I think they are, so they can't get in. They just want us to be in ETFs. There's nothing wrong with just being in ETFs, but they just want us in just solely ETFs. And a parable of FOMO rally times. Stonks is a tongue-in-cheek term for stocks. It is. In the new breed of traders' chat rooms and an abstinct pomatial tweets to stoke the fire from Musk, who manages to both the wealthiest person in the world and reveal outflow status, just about summed the whole crazy situation up. It says here. That's just the tweet. I just put game stonk. Elon Musk just tweeted that to a link to the Wall Street bets, which I think has now been deleted. And as far as I know, the Reddit feed has now been um, terminated, not deleted is more of the correct term. He didn't delete it, they did. So if you're on it, you'll know what's going on. If you're an investor with your eye on social media, then you'll have registered in the past day or two. And if you consume news at a slightly less frantic pace than the modern world demands, you might be wondering what on earth the column is about. The brief backstory is that GameStop stock code, GME, is struggling long-standing US video game retailer, hit hard by the coronavirus lockdowns, which announced plans to close large numbers of stores last year. In autumn, a new activist investor stepped in, Ryan Cohen, the successful founder of a multi-billion dollar interest pet supply store, Chewy and GameStop status as a beaten down company ripe for revival stepped up a year. Well hopefully afterwards um, they do manage to resolve their problems and GameStop are able to keep their stores open after the virus is open. Kahim was going into a position at GameStop to take Amazon online game sales similar to he similar to how he fought the same Goliath with Chewy. However, as it is often the case, not everyone was back in that story. A number of hedge funds and other big investors took short positions to bet against GameStop. And this is their way some publish the, the thesis on why they were convinced that the share price would fall and how they would profit. So basically they don't like the fact that the retail investors have now called them or forced them 
um, to add further funds so they wouldn't be margin called into the positions. And I think they had to take on, some of them had to take on loans. And um, um, obviously the retail investors found out about this and they pushed the price up even more and making that loan worthless because the price has gone up even more so that their, their short requirement is getting closer again to uh, being called on their margin. So far, so value investors accept then some weird stuff started to happen. Well, I'm thinking if you are taking a short position, you shouldn't be protect, be protected, even if you're a, a smart investor, the hedge fund investors, they shouldn't have any protection, just like the retail investor doesn't have much protection. So they're just trying to stop the retail investors from stopping the status quo and then making money, and they don't like that fact, is the real reason. Just over a fortnight ago, it was announced Cajon would be joining the GameStop board, this was the kind of good news that boasts a share price and duly climbed from $19.95 on January 11th. It has risen 50% with a couple of days and almost doubled to $39.12 by January 12, 20th. But the momentum drastically picked up and GameStop shares started to rocket. By Monday they were $76.80. On Tuesday they reached $147. 98 cents and at the time of writing they are $332 and that is nearly 1600% rise in 16 days. Behind it lies an orchestrated attack from members of the Wall Street Reddit forum which also spread onto social media with small time traders buying into GameStop to send its share price higher and put a squeeze on the short sellers which it has and that's what I was talking about earlier. They've pushed the price up, so they've got to have to add further funds into them, this um, position. Otherwise, they will be short. They will be called margin called on their position. The more GameStop share price rises, the tighter the squeeze, and as, feedback, as a feedback loop is created, by where the, the short sellers have to buy stocks themselves to cover their positions, which in turn increases the price, which is quite clever really and considering they're not that smart it's not smart money we're just the retail investors I think they sound pretty clever and more individual traders join the frenzy to make more money as the price goes up magnifying the effect dramatically is that many small traders aren't actually buying GameStop shares they're buying call options ah I didn't know that they're buying the call options derivatives so that actually um they don't actually own the share, they own in the price of the share. Derivatives that give them the right to buy a set of price within a certain time frame allow them to profit from the share prices higher at that point. This enables people to trade with borrowed money on margin and magnifies their gains. So okay, so they're using something, probably not in America, I think a CFD, so you're using margin. So you're borrowing money um, at a ratio and that's risky as well. The message in the Reddit thread is a mix of confrontational antagonism against the financial system, light-hearted traded banter and hard and hit and hope let's get rich chat. It's the same flavor found in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency discussions and while it lacks the evangelical true believer element of the crypto world it makes up for that in the favor fever or some participants believe that they're taking down the financial system. I really don't think they want that. I don't think they have fully thought that through what that really entails. I'm sure these some of these people who are on social security or have family members or they know family members or friends or family members on social security or welfare. I don't think they've truly have thought it through about bringing this system down. What that all entails. I don't truly believe, believe they're not. They may feel like they've been wronged or our society's been wronged, but they haven't fully thought through the long term consequences, what that actually entails. Momentum trading is nothing new. And no, it isn't. And if you want to learn about the art of buying shares on and up and trying to sell out before they go down, read the classic resistance. 
reminiscences of a stock operator and the largely fictionalized biography of the trader Jess Livermore and his life in the bucket shop trading house of the early 20th century. Well, there's no need to go onto a shop floor now because there's something called the internet. So you can do it from the comfort of your own home in a nice, comfy, relaxed manner. What is novel with GameStop is the small traders realising at scale that their powers to come together and make prices go up at will. Well, if you can get enough people together, you can technically do that, but I don't know if there's um, laws against against that I have to be after looked into that it's been described as weaponized trading and like to how ants and can move huge volumes compared to their size it's been described yeah one trade on Wall Street bets with the monarch Monica deep value posted to claim that they have turned a long standard YOLO you only live once which basically means um, enjoy the moment, don't think about for the future, spend it all now, and don't worry about the future. And then you've got FOMO is the other one. It's like fear of missing out. It's like, it's like um, there's still the same principle, not, not delaying the gratification and just enjoying the moment. Of £50,000 in GameStop in late 2019 into just shy of £23 million pounds or dollars. So basically now he is financially independent and financially free if he sells out of his position and he will no longer have to do his 9 to 5 if he doesn't want to. If now he would only have to go to his 9 to 5 if he wants to. Hmm. Melvin Capital Management, one of the US hedge funds betting against GameStops, pulled out of its first short yesterday. I have heard of this Melvin. I was watching another video about it before I made this video, so that's quite interesting. He sold out his um, short position yesterday and is reported to have lost 30% of the 12.5 billion it managed since in the last start of 21. So that is quite a considerable amount of proportion of his um, assets under, assets under, I can't say it, assets under management. So hopefully he will probably eventually get that back, but that will take time to rebuild that funds uh, back to work what it was. Another hedge fund, Citron, which suffered as chat rooms tried to sought to punish its short positions, uh, had already backed out. The weaponized trading has also moved into Target. Other companies trying to lift their share price with old tech names that, such as Blackberry, Nokia are getting the treatment as well as US cinema chain AMC. GameStop is also a story that's now broken out of the chat, threads and social media world into the mainstream media. Well, I'm sorry, you're not the real you are you're you have you do have your own echo bubbles mainstream media. But the younger generations don't really watch you. They go on to YouTube or other platforms. It's more the older generations that mainly watch mainstream media headlines and onto regular plates a debate is raging Albert far slower than the story is unfolding as to whether the US financial regulator the SEC should step in or whether the little guys and girls get in together to take on the hedge funds big shorts is something it should be kept its nose out of and yes it should keep its nose out of it Russian financial commentator John Office described this in the Bloomberg column as rage against the financial machine and the first angry bubble he had seen in his time in the markets. He highlighted that though he might, many might qu quite rightly be angry with the financial system of recent decades. Anger even more within greed has the capacity to make us throw caution to the winds. As for me, this gets to the heart of what is the matter of it is, is problematic. I really don't like when people use that word problematic. It's like, I really, I think that people overuse the word problematic and what is actually problematic isn't actually problematic. They just use it because it sounds big. And anyway, that's a topic for another day. 
on the surface. GameStop is an amusing, amusing stock market story at the time when we all need a laugh. If people want to get involved in draft greater full momentum trading, knowing that if they end up being last full, they will lose money, then so be it, and rightfully so. But underlying it is a huge but speculative bubble in shares at high risk option trading and the tulips in 1920. <sighs> and the dot com era, ultimately, it's the individual investors always lose the worst most when the bubble bursts. Well, that's because they don't only just hold that position, hedge funds, they have many short and many other long positions. So that's not the only player they have going at the same time. So, and they also have more complex instruments that they can use that probably the retail investors cannot. So hopefully you found this informative and it brought attention to you. If you didn't know this was going on and you want to hear more news, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Click in the bell notification button gets you notified when I next release a video. Smashing that like button helps the algorithm. I don't just play um, news articles, just playing news articles. I just don't read news articles and give them my uh, view on them. I also play video games where we just chill and then sometimes talk about investing. As well as I also go review my actual investment portfolios. So thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you all soon.